Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an updated brow tutorial for 2020. I know you guys have been seeing this new trend all over social media. It's the feathered out brow look. It's a natural undefined eyebrow look that has been making your brows look more fuller. Now, I wasn't blessed with full brows, so I'm gonna have to work with what I have and kind of put my own little twist into it because I can't necessarily do it how they do it. Now you guys know that I like to do my brows off camera before I do the rest of my face just cause I need some stability in my hands when I'm filling in my brows or even when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks just cause my hands shake so I can't freely do things in the air because I won't get the best precision that I want. I'm such a freak and I need everything to be perfect. Like I can't have a little crooked line. It just will bother me for the rest of the day. So the way that I've been doing my brows has been more effortless, less time, and my brows aren't as bold as they used to be. So if you guys are interested on how I do my brows now, then keep watching. Okay, so I zoomed in so you guys can see a little better since we are just working on the brows. So I'm actually gonna start to brush them upwards so I can get rid of some of that foundation. And it's gonna also give me a guideline on where I'm gonna start to outline the bottom of my brows. Okay, next you're gonna take a concealer that's pretty close to your face color just cause around our brows when we start to carve, we wanna make sure that it blends perfectly with your foundation, your bronzer. So in today's video, I'm gonna take Too Faced multi Sculpt Concealer and I'm in the shade Warm Beige. I'm gonna try and take it from the tube. I don't like to grab too much because I hate working with so much products. And I'm actually gonna dab more off on the back of my hand just cause I want a little bit of product. And I'm gonna start to carve out underneath my brows. Now that we have that line placed, I'm going to take it and just drag it down a little bit so it blends in with the bronzer that's in my crease. Now I'm going to take a little buffer brush and I'm going to start to buff out that line very, very lightly because I want to keep that sharp, clean look underneath my eyes, well, underneath my brows. So the whole point of carving out your brows in the bottom first is so that way you can try and look for the gaps that need extra filling in instead of going in and just filling in what doesn't need to be filled. So right here, I'm gonna start to fill it in as light as possible. And I'm going to start to create my shape following the natural shape of my brow. And I'm just brushing it out so we can keep it as light as possible. When it comes to the front of my brows, I'm going to stop right here and creating that straight line. I'm going to take it from where my brow hairs start and I'm going to flick up just in areas that I feel like I need. I'm not gonna go in and scribble. I'm just gonna flick up from the bottom. What I want is the beginning of my brow to barely be touched because I love that gradient effect. So once I'm done flicking those natural hairs, I'm gonna go in and just brush it back up. And that's all I do for the bottom. And now we're gonna work on the top. So I'm just gonna go starting with the inner part of my brows because this area right here needs a little more filling in very lightly with a very light hand. I got you guys, this is so hard for me to do because I like to lean my hands on my face when I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so once it gets to my arch area, that place needs a little help because I don't have hair where I would like hair. So I have to create and elongate my arch. I'm gonna take it from the tippity tippity top of my brows and I'm gonna swoop down. You see how it just goes? I'm gonna try and thicken that outer part out a little more so that way it doesn't have such a harsh ending. Once I'm done connecting the arch to the end of my brow, I fill it in just a tad bit, but it's not enough to blend my natural hairs with the fake arch that I just created. So what I do, I'm gonna take this Anastasia brow powder. This one's in the shade medium brown. I'm gonna take the darker side, I can get to it. 
and I'm gonna fill in the area where I created that fake brow. It's just to give my brows a little more depth so when I take pictures, it doesn't pick up on the difference between my natural brows and the fake arch that I created. All right, so once I'm done with that, I'm gonna just brush through my hairs one more time, very lightly, because I don't wanna pick up any of the brow product that I just placed, and that is it. So I'm just gonna pass some clear brow gel because I can't live without that shit. My stupid brows fall down if I don't have something that's holding them up and I don't want them to fall past the shape that I just created. So in the front part of my brows, I'm gonna try and flick them more up compared to the rest of my brows because again, I want that feathery brow look. So here's the difference. Obviously this brow is more defined than this brow, but compared to how I've been doing my brows, it's not as bold as it used to be. I'm trying to stick with my natural shape of the brows and just try to fill in in areas that I actually need it. The only part that I create a fake part is my arch because I have to elongate this one a little more to kind of match it to this one better. So I'm gonna do this brow off camera so we can wrap up the video and hopefully this video was pretty understandable. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the brows that I've been loving. I know that they're a lot more skinnier than what I used to do, and it's because I'm trying to keep it as close as possible to my natural hairs. So I'm happy with this shape because it fits my face shape much better than big bulky brows. I'm actually shocked on how this came out because I did it after doing my whole face, so I didn't have that stability in my hands that I needed. But it came out good, I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at it. Okay guys, so this concludes the makeup tutorial. If I explained myself pretty well and you guys got what I was saying, then like on your way out just to give me some ease because I feel like I sound like a retard. I'm just bad at explaining things. I'm better at showing than explaining so it's really hard for me to do these kind of videos so but I'm trying but I'm trying and if you guys are not subscribed to me then subscribe <laughs> and I will see you guys in my future videos. Bye.